Hey guys and welcome back to the AC Milan career mode. We are not doing too great at the moment. As you can see, we're currently sitting in fourth in the table. Ten points behind league leaders Napoli. Are we still in the title race? Is this still possible? I don't know. It's. I'm going to let you guys decide. Leave me a comment down below. Can we still challenge for the title? I'm not sure, but I'm going to change a few things in today's episode. Only as a one-off. I'm not going to do this too often, but I'm going to sim two games and play two games. And the two games that I'm going to sim... Are the home game against Torino and the Champions League group stage match against Molda FK just for the simple reason that we're basically already qualified for the knockout stages we're doing all right in the Champions League and Torino at home shouldn't be a problem even if you're simming the game the game that I'm going the games rather that I'm going to play are Hellas Verona and Fiorentina so four games in today's episode to see if we can pick up form again to see if we'll do all right or if we still are struggling I hope not if you like the idea of the four games, then leave a like down below. Show the support on the series that you're still watching after five seasons. It's absolutely mental how we're... Uh, wait, why is Anicha Bay and right back? Wait, no, um, wait, sorry? I must have missed something. Why the hell is Anicha Bay in right back? Oh, it doesn't seem to matter really. We're 3-0 up, so I can't really complain. And it ends 5-0. Two goals from Ahman Persson, Coutinho, Oduamadi and Yuri Tielemann scoring. So the team is doing all right. It's just I have to pick up form myself. The players are doing the job. I just need to play better with them. And hopefully we'll do that in the next game against Hellas Verona. All right, guys, this is the team I'm going to pick for the game against Hellas Verona away from home. I don't have any excuses left. We've won 5-0 by Sim in a game. If I don't perform well, it's down to me and not down to the players. I have no excuses, this is a strong squad, we should be able to smash Hellas Verona, it's been a long time since we've had a brilliant performance, it's time to deliver. Well then Yuri Tielemann straight away, showing our attacking intentions, can we find him by Niang, he's trying to battle himself back into position, but pressure immediately from the start, first minute, this is the AC Milan we want to see, Tielemann's into Ayu, finesse it, Andre Ayu, oh I thought that was in for a second, good start from the Rossoneri. Oh, well done by Lacazette, defending really well. He can find Andre Ayew on the edge of the area, who doesn't take the best of touches. Antoine Griezmann is going to try and make the most of it. They fall over each other. Antoine Griezmann, there we go, 1-0. He buries that. He capitalises on a defensive mistake. I don't know what happened right there with the Verona defenders, but they just ran into each other and gave Griezmann a clear path to goal. 1-0 to Milan, and only his first goal in the league season. Uh, it just shows how poor we are. Antoine Griezmann inside on Brivio, well done. Griezmann has to go all the way. Where are my strikers? I have no idea, but Griezmann is going to do it all by himself. Antoine Griezmann! That was almost beautiful. El Shirawi picks it up. Chance is still alive. Into Niang. Niang back to Andre. You first time hit! And he smashed it wide. At least we're creating some chances now. It's been pretty dead since we scored the goal. Niang. Into Lacazette, well played by Niang, he can get it back from Lacazette, there it is, Niang take a touch, finish that, straight at the keeper again. Oh, that's well played, Valotti is in behind the defence, Imeric Laporte has to close him down, we finally get rid of it, but it's not comfortable, I can feel it coming, that equaliser, I can feel it coming, well done Yuri Tielemans. And that is the end of the game, thank god there was only one minute of extra time, but uh, we get the three points, not a convincing victory at all. We kept them mostly to long-range efforts. That's why they got eight shots and five on target. Uh, we only had six shots, four on target. But we scored the goal and we win. That means I can't really complain too much. Two wins in a row now in the Serie A. We're looking uh, to improve. We're on our way up. The home game against Molde FK will be simmed. They're already knocked out. We can potentially lose top spot in the group. But I'm not really too bothered about that. I just want... Uh, my team to have a rest. This team might be able to do the job. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let, let's use these boys. As Lack is at up front, should be able to back bag a few goals. Um, now let's see what the result is going to be. And we won two one, so that's not too bad, is it? With the uh, well, it's not even my B squad. It's my C squad. Um, Dinoya and Ahman Parison getting the goals. Shima Shukwu scoring for Molda. So that means we've won our group. Absolutely brilliant. We're only now eight points behind Napoli, so they drew a game, which is good news. And we can go into the final game of this episode, and that is Fiorentina away from home. That's going to be a tough one. We have qualified for the knockout stages of the Champions League, so that means we've now got 11.8 million added to our budget, which is absolutely nice and awesome to see. Uh, the board is happy with our performances lately, which is also good to hear. And uh, a youth player wants out. I'm going to give uh, the guy a contract, five players from England. 
that I've been scouting. Uh, nothing too interesting right there. I do want to show you something. I was scouting in Germany as well for first team players and I came across a certain regen of a certain Dutch player that plays for Bayern Munich with 99 pace. That is Arjen Robben's regen, there is no doubt about it. Look at the physical stats. Let me know guys, should I get him in, the, in uh, the January transfer window? I really would want to get him, he looks fantastic, speedster, dribbler, acrobat trait. Only 3 star skills which is a bit unfortunate. Right footer on the right, it's not too bad, he reminds me a lot of, uh, of David Jigla who doesn't get a lot of first team action nowadays. Uh, maybe he can be better than Jigla, I don't know. And we're finally going to promote Andrade Sid Damek, the brother of Frost Damek. He wanted the contract. I'm going to give him that contract. He looks amazing. Unfortunately, I'm a bit worried about his physical stats because he's been here quite a while. He's had the May boost. Does that mean that he's not going to grow in his physicals? I'm not sure. But EA honestly fixed that for, for next FIFA because it's actually appalling how the youth system works at times. Um, other than that, I think we've done everything that we need to do in the office. It's time to play Fiorentina. And we once again got a fully fit team. De Silio is back from injury. He gets straight back into the lineup. The only change I'm going to make though is Paul Pogba. I dropped him for the game against Hellas Verona. I played Yuri Tielemans. For some reason Tielemans lately has been performing better than Paul Pogba. What is his future looking like at AC Milan here in this career mode? Let me know what you think. But I'm looking to sell quite a few players because it's not fair that players with the caliber of Anicha Bay and Bamba and Jigla don't get playing time. I think I have to sell quite a lot of them um, to keep it semi-realistic as well. But this is the team for Fiorentina and uh, I think it's strong enough. We should get the three points. Let's go. 35 yards out seems like quite the distance to try and hit a free kick from distance. But why not try it? We've got Ricardo Rodriguez, the free kick god. If he scores this... Oh, it's close. It's close. Good save by the keeper. First attack of the game after five minutes falls to AC Milan. But the keeper denies us that lead. What can we do from this one? Corner technique into Yuri Tielemans. Tielemans back to Ricardo Rodriguez again on the left foot. Good save again by the keeper. Mario Gomez into Borjan Valero. Valero turns. That's too easy. That's too easy. And he shoots wide. That's a warning shot. We need to be on our guard in defence. Well done by Andre Yu intercepting Glick and he can go all the way down the right wing. He's got the pace to get away from the centre back. Maybe he can now find Lacazette. Well done. Lacazette, what can you do for me from this position? Nice turn. Lacazette, we've got Yuri Tielemans on the other side and Neto again. Good save. We can't beat the keeper right now. I just wanted to show you these half time stats. We're all over them. Nine shots, seven on target. About half of those shots were blocked and the other half were saved by Neto. It's just unbelievable how we're not at least 2 or 3 nil up. We have to get the goals in the second half. We cannot fuck this up. Well then by Laporte. You can find Niang. Can we finally get the goal? I'm going to go ultra attacking as well. I'm done with waiting for something to drop to us. Niang, well done. Into Griezmann. We've got people running. Lacazette can get there. Pass it off to El Shirawi. Beautiful moves. And what a save again. Oh dear. It's not going to happen, is it? That's a brilliant ball by De Silio. Look at Griezmann being onside. Play into him by Niang. Niang looked for the pass into Lacazette. There we go. Finally, we get what we deserve. Alexandre Lacazette opens the score way too late, but we'll take it. Niang tried to be unselfish there. It finally worked. And Lacazette gave NATO no chance with that finish. 1-0 to AC Milan. Finally. Nah, nah. Gomez, nah. Tosic, Tosic. Deflected off the bar. We're lucky someone's out there protected us. We'll take it and now on the break with Griezmann and Lacazette running at a defence. That's the last thing you want to see as a defender. What can Griezmann do? Take it past Savage. Well done. We've got numbers. We've got numbers. El Shirawi first time. Second time. There we go. 2-0 to 8. No, it's offside. Really? Oh my god. We've been so wasteful with the chances it could cost us. Bernardeschi against Nkulu. Bernardeschi! I can't believe that. That's genuinely disgusting. What is that? Their second or third shot of the game. And they score a good finish from Federico Bernardeschi. But it's all our fault. We're just so wasteful. Tielemans. Lacazette. Lacazette into Niang. Well played. Niang. Cut back. And by Niang. Keep going. And by Niang. Oh, he gets sideswiped. But it's a penalty. And I'll take that. We need a bit of luck in this game. Otherwise, we'll never win. 
I don't think that was a penalty. I think that's a bit harsh. Uh, Camille Glick took him out, I think. But it, it seemed like he touched the ball. I'm not sure. Let's take a look at it again. Camille Glick goes in for the slide tackle. He does touch the ball. It's a harsh decision, but we'll take it. And that's the end of the game. We've drawn 1-1. I accidentally pressed the PlayStation menu as well. This is going brilliant today. Half the time, I can't even get my words out right. And I'm playing like absolute shit. This is not what you want to see. I mean, I, I, I wasn't playing shit. We just couldn't score. Look at that. 16 shots, 11 on target. Are we having a laugh? Nietzsche Bay is unhappy with his role at the club. That's fine. I'll sell you in the January transfer window. I can't be asked for this bullshit. But Andrade Daymake has accepted the uh, offer uh, from, well, from our youth squad. So let's take a look at his stats. I want to see what he's like. Andrade Damek, where are you? Uh, here he is, 70 rated. Physically, of course, not the best. Uh, what do you expect? Four star weak foot, three star skills, low, low work rates. Horrible stats, to be fair. Technical attributes are fantastic, but I don't know if he's going to grow physically. That's the problem with these players. Well, we've got some bad news, guys. Nicola Muru has refused a contract extension. He's in the last year of his contract, so that means he can leave the club on a pre-contract deal for free. That would be an absolute disaster, as he is. I wouldn't say my number one left back, but he's one of the better defenders in the team, and I don't want to lose him, um, especially for free. He's 85 rated. His value is, is pretty high, so that's going to be bad news if we uh, have to let him go. Um, well, actually... You know what, I'm going to throw in a fifth game. I'm going to sim this game against Parma as well. It's a home game. Watch us score at least three or four goals when I'm not controlling them. That's just how it's going to go, isn't it? Bang, 2-0. I'll take 2-0. Pogba and El Sharawi. All right, Pogba, you're going to start next episode. I've decided that right here and right now. Uh, just because he scored a goal. Not because he's playing well, just because he scored a goal. All right, let's get through these scouting updates. Before we end the episode, it's going to be a long episode uh, by the looks of things. Um, let's sign him up as well. It's pretty decent. That's not too bad. Right. Um, sim forward and hopefully get some new news on, on the um, thingy, Nicola Muru. I'm going to keep offering, offering him a contract until he accepts, hopefully. I've offered them a contract again. Fabian Scherer is now looking to go out of the club. Um, oh, God. What's going on here? Fabian Scherer. Um, blah, blah, blah. Please take the appropriate action of involving him. Uh, Okay, so I still have jurisdiction over what I can do with him, but I don't really know what to do. Another scouting update. Apologies, guys, if this is going to be longer than usual. Uh, I like to keep them like to 12 minutes, these episodes, but it's not looking likely. It's going to be a longer one today. Um, found all I can in Germany. It's all good and well. Uh, Fabian Scher. Uh, he wants to go, doesn't he? He wants to go. Which is unfortunate. Uh, oh, Nicola Muru, thank you. Well, all I had to do was give him 10k extra per week, and he's accepted. That's good news. But now the issue with Fabian Share, I'm actually going to show you what the plans are for this transfer window because uh, a lot of players need to go as they're just not being picked for first team football. Jigla, I'm going to go let him go out on a loan. I know it's a bit weird. He's 87 rated, but he's not getting into the first team. Um, Coutinho as well, it's a bit of a weird one, it, he's not winning the battle from Pogba and, and um, Tielemann, so it's quite unfortunate. Anicha Bay, I think it's time to go. You're not you're not getting played, you're not getting played. Arman Persson is uh, even ahead of him in the picking order, as well as Mbaye Niang, so I don't think that's a good idea. Pogba is interesting, Cher, let's sell him as well, why not? Uh, <laughs> Oh god, I don't want to do this, but you can't have quality players like that in the reserves. It's just I can't do that. That's horrible. They shouldn't be they shouldn't be sitting on the bench not getting playtime. I understand why they want to leave. Right, we've got a few transfer offers from some for some young players. Matt Muller Ansel can go out on a loan um, to Torino, that's not too bad. And Maxime Dreyer can go out on a loan to Saint Etienne. I will accept every single loan offer I get for youngsters. Transfer offer for Lissandros David Lomban out on a loan to Barcelona. That's absolutely fine. I'll take that. Press conference, we're not interested in that. We've got a game against Juve coming up, which is very interesting. And uh, Thierry Mobile is back in Italy, apparently, as you saw right there. I'm also going to make 
A uh, quick offer before ending the episode for um, a Hatabur, I think it was. Yeah, the Arjun Robin regen. I think he looks fantastic. Why not try him and see what um, what we can do with him? I'm going to go straight in with a 25 million bid. Uh, if they don't, don't accept that, we'll negotiate further. But he's my transfer target for this transfer window. And that should wrap up today's episode. Slightly longer than usual. I hope I didn't bore you too much. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all later.